you are about to experience a whirlwind tour of PyTest in PyCharm in under seven minutes. Start the clock. First, let's open PyCharm from the JetBrains Toolbox app and create a new project using Python 3.11. In the project tool window, create a new file called pyproject.toml and populate it with the bare minimum, including that all important PyTest dependency. Since we're here, we'll also set up our directory structure for our code. And finally, we'll use the terminal to run pip install dash e dot test set up our dependencies, including PyTest with pip. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a pyproject.toml file, you can use a requirements.txt file to manage your dependencies and PyCharm will help you. The choice is yours. Before we move on, create your test directory as well. Useful note, if you're not sure which test runner PyCharm is using, go to your settings with command and comma or control alt and s and search for test runner. We can see that PyCharm is correctly using PyTest in our project. First up, let's create a player class so we can get started. Use navigate to test with command shift and T or control shift and T to create a new test for our player class. PyCharm adds the basic code and asserts false, meaning our test will fail right now. Let's run the test with our gutter icons and we can see that it fails, which is what we're expecting. We can change assert false to assert true, run it again, this time with our keyboard shortcuts, so Ctrl and R or Shift and F10, and the test now passes. We'll make a new test and check that our player class creates a player object correctly for us in the construction, which it does. And we'll go through that process again from start to finish. First, we'll make our new guardian class. Then we'll use navigate to test and see that PyCharm creates the basic code. We'll change the test as before to check the constructor and this time run the test from our project tool window and our right click context menu. You can configure PyCharm to have the code on the left, the test on the right and the run tool window at the bottom, which allows you to more easily take a test driven development approach to your workflow. In addition, you can tell PyCharm to automatically rerun your tests when something changes so you get faster feedback. We can test the construction of our Guardian class, and since it's failing, we know we need to go over to our code, add the missing constructor in order for our test to pass. Same again, we'll make a meaningful test here to check that everything is working as we expect. We can also make a change that breaks our test just to check that there's still auto rerunning. And of course, we'll remember to change it back. Side note here, it's worth taking note of what your IDE is telling you because if there is a problem, PyCharm tells you when you hover over it, meaning you can often see what the issue is and solve it even before your tests start failing. We can add some more tests here and get PyCharm to add missing code as and when we need it in a true TDD workflow. Back in our player class, we can fill in the code that we need with a little help from full line code completion. We'll write a new test here, but we haven't implemented it yet. PyTest also allows us to skip tests as and when we need to. You can conditionally skip tests as well. Check out the PyTest documentation for more information. PyCharm tells you that this test has been skipped in the run output as well. Let's get PyCharm to help us implement the functionality with Alt and Enter or Option and Enter and code completion. We can then remove pytest.mark.skip and see that all our tests are running once again. Where we've got code duplicated in different tests, we can use PyTest fixtures to write it once and use it across our test suite. Next, we will refactor test under construction, test under add dunder guardian, and test under primary dunder guardian to use our new player dunder one fixture, checking our test run at each interval. Let's add a second fixture for guardians, and then we can again refactor test under add dunder guardian test under add under guardians and test under primary under guardian in the same way as we did before. We can add the same fixture to our guardian class and refactor test under construction to use it. Unfortunately, we now have duplication, but we can use PyCharm's move functionality to move the fixture code from our player test into a new file called conftest.py. Close the project tool window, open up our guardians test file, delete that fixture and let PyCharm tidy up the imports. 
A quick detour here, because naming is hard. Guardian Dunder List wasn't a great choice of name. We can refactor it to all Dunder Guardians, and PyCharm refactors the declaration and the usages across our project. You can debug your tests as well as your code. If we add an assert statement here, and our test is now failing, but let's say we're not sure why. We could fall back on that trusty print statement, but the smart play here is to use PyCharm's debugger. Place a breakpoint on the suspect line, run our code from the run icon dropdown with the debugger. If we're still not sure what the problem is, we can use evaluate expression and step into our code to dig around and see what's going on. Finally, you can use pytest.raises to check that the exception you expect is really being raised. We are expecting a key error exception, but we get an index error. Whilst we're here, let's refactor our code to cope with this condition. And that's it, we're done. That was super fast. So if you'd like to dig into any of the areas in more detail, please check out our dedicated PyTest in PyCharm playlist. There is a link below this video in the description. You can also take a look at this QR code, which takes you to all our PyTest resources on our JetBrains guide. There is a written tutorial there for PyTest in PyCharm as well, if that's more your thing. And that's it. My time is up. <laughs>